Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and you had a good night's rest. I'm going to be reading to you from the book of Exodus in chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12. Of course, Exodus, we find the story of the children of Israel exiting, leaving, fleeing Egypt. And we find that Pharaoh and Moses have this dispute. It's ongoing. Actually, Pharaoh and God have the dispute. And anytime you're disputing something with God, you're losing, um, and which he does. But uh, Moses is the mouthpiece, and he and Aaron, as they come back and forth to Pharaoh and they speak with him, well, finally, um, God tells Moses gives him instruction for the children of Israel. In chapter 12, we find this. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall be, shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year, and you shall take it from the sheep. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And you shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Now all of this, if you read this and then you look at the the, uh, uh, the death of Christ, you will see that we can find Christ in the Old Testament here as well. They shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. They shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs shall they eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire his head, and with his legs, and with the puritans thereof, the pertinence thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. Thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite the firstborn of the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the house wherein ye are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. We could read more, of course, but for time's sake, we won't. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Sometimes people think that this is uh, too gory. Even uh, was it uh, Moses' family uh, believed him to have a bloody religion. But the scripture says, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. So it was because of the shedding of this blood, of this animal, of this lamb, that the children of Israel were spared when the death angel came by that night. And it is so by the shedding of the lamb of God, Jesus Christ, that we, of course, spared redeemed, purchased, uh, protected by that blood. And so, uh, so Miss Beverly Boyle asked about this song and uh, we sang this years ago with our kids when they were just little. And uh, I'm going to try to remember the words. I probably got them around here somewhere, but I'll see if I can remember uh, them. One dark night in Egypt, a fearful time had come for one little Hebrew boy who was his father's firstborn son. 
with the angel of death passing low it was hard to fall asleep but one little lamb stood in his mind as he lay there counting sheep he wondered why the young lamb had to die why his blood was on the door through the wind and the rain it still remained but he wanted to be sure so he called out to his earthly father with a trembling voice so scared crying father Please look and see if the blood is still there. He said, Son, now don't you worry, for the blood is there to stay. The wind may blow and the rain may fall, but it won't just wash away. The blood will stand the raging storm it's been applied with loving care safe secured you can rest assured that the blood is still there looking over the damage Satan's storm had left behind The flood of endless questions Doubt had filled my mind The fear that gripped my troubled soul Brought me back to my knees in prayer Crying, Father, will you Please look and see if the blood is still there. He said, Son, now don't you worry, for the blood is there to stay. The wind may blow and the rain may fall, but it won't just wash away. The blood will stand the raging storm It's been applied with loving care Safe, secured, you can rest assured That the blood is still there Safe, secured, you can rest assured That the blood Lord, as we come to you today, we do thank you for the day you've given us, Lord. We thank you for the knowledge of knowing that what you've done for us on Calvary, no one can take from us, Lord. We're thankful for that. I pray that you would bless today those that hear these words, give encouragement to those that are hurting, and God knows there are plenty of hurting people out there today, Lord. I pray that you would bless them, lead God, and direct them in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, folks, and uh, God bless you, and we'll see you Saturday.